for a given matrix A that represents the interactions between individuals in a population, and a vector X that tells us the proportion of individuals uh, of each type in the population, um, the replicator dynamics equations, these fundamental equations that allow us to model evolution, are the following. So it's dxi dt equals xi times fi minus phi. And that's for all i, so for all types of individuals. There's a couple of things to denote, like what is fi and, and what is uh, phi? Well, um, where fi is equal to the fitness of individuals of each type in the population, so that's a times x, and phi is the average fitness in the population, which is gonna be equal to x times a times x. And so these fundamental, this, this fundamental equation, or these fundamental equations, is one for every uh, type of individual in the population, or what are called the replicator um, dynamics um, equation. Oop, I am missing that. It's the ith component of, of ax. Fi is the ith component of, of ax. So uh, there are actually linear algebraic uh, 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 versions of, of uh, all of um, this, which is essentially to replace this without the i, and, and this, this holds. Uh, but the important thing is that this relationship here to, to remember. Now, as an example, we can ask for rock, paper, scissors, what would be the replicator dynamics uh, equation? Now, rock, rock, paper, scissors is uh, the game given by A equals zero minus one, 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 zero, minus one, minus one, one, zero. And so that that is um, a three by three matrix. So we have three types of individuals in our population. And so by directly applying uh, our relationships, we have F equals a X, where X is just the, pop, the population vector, X1, X2, X3. We know that the sum of the X's has to be equal to one because these are proportions. And so if we write that down, let me just make sure I have enough uh, space on my on my board. If we write that down, we get the following just by a, a basic uh, linear algebraic manipulation. We get minus x2 plus x3, x1 minus x3, and minus x1 plus x2. So once we have f, this is one of the important uh, values of the replicator uh, dynamics equation. Uh, the other one we need is, is phi, and, and phi is given by um, x transpose f. Essentially, it's taking our vector x and saying, okay, x1 of the time, I get this, x2 of the time, I get that, x3 of the time, I get this, so the average is just that sum of those those products. And if we, we write that out, we get it's x1 times x3 uh, minus x2 um, plus x2 times x1 minus x3 plus x3 times x2 minus x1. It's a nice bit of symmetry in there. Um, there's a couple of terms uh, that that we might notice uh, can be uh, simplified. Um, uh, there we have these uh, these repeated terms. We have x1 and x2 there, x2 and x1 uh, there. And we have x3 and x1 there, and x3 and x1 there. And uh, we have a, a few more that are left, x3 and x2 and x3 and x2. So, so in fact, in this particular case, uh, we have that the average fitness is zero. This simplifies our equations, uh, our, our, our replicator dynamic equations somewhat because we can then uh, write down that the replicator, let me get a bit more space there, the replicator dynamics equations for uh, our particular case are dx1 dt equal x1 times F one, 
there's no um, there's no phi because phi is just zero, and so it's x one times um, x three minus x two and dx2 dt is equal to x2 times x1 minus x3 and dx3 dt equals x3 times x2 minus x1. And so those are the replicator dynamics equations uh, for rock, paper, scissors. So in a population of three individuals um, that would evolve over time based on their fitness, this is how these uh, the, the, these three equations would describe how that evolution would happen.